75 and 76. Let's take it and see if we can write a function. Um, uh, with your graphing calculator, you just do a power model. Really? From the get go? I'm just going to all review it. You just go stat, edit. Once you put all your stuff in, change your window so you can see it. And then go, um, and then you'll go stat, calc. And then you can pick whichever one you want. In this one, we're going to do a power regression. And I will tell you which one I want you to do. Okay. Um, polynomial or power regression, whichever. Okay. So yeah, it's just, you know, you got, you, you've got one on your person. Just go ahead, stat, edit, change your window so it fits, get it to display. And you, one thing you might want to, you might have to do is you have to come to y equals and um, you turn your plot back on. Okay. But on that one, if you, if you, um, you know, once you get some stuff in there and, and you're still struggling with something, then I'll help you. Okay. What else? Let me think about it here just a little bit. Use books drawer, a thousand bucks each month, average. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I, right now I'd temporarily be tempted to say no because we haven't worked on that recently. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll review it here real quick. They're selling uh, a thousand books um, each month. Okay. And an average cost. Ten dollars per book. Okay. Um, we should raise the price of all the free so Fifty fewer books. Minus fifty fewer books for every increase. Sorry. Ten dollars, and this is a, a dollar for every. Um, I'm I'm going to change my variable. I don't like it. I for increase. Okay. So my, my cost is ten dollars plus a certain number of increases of a dollar. This one I was selling a thousand, but I'm gonna lose fifty books for every time I increase the price for a dollar. Um, now theoretically, um, if I multiply that out, um, it's a quadratic, and it's a quadratic that opens down because it's gonna be a negative fifty i. You could find both of your zeros. I'm not gonna take the time to actually calculate it. And then it's going to be a quadratic, so it's going to look like this. Where would I find my maximum in relation to my zeros in a quadratic? Right in the middle. My vertex is going to be right in the middle. So you could multiply it out go negative b over 2a. Or you could say, well, hey, this is negative 10 and this is 20. Um, right in between is going to be 5. So five increases is going to be my maximum income. Okay, that's a good thing to review that once in a while, but I can't foresee that necessarily being on there. So then, how would I find how many books I was going to sell? Plug what in? Plug in five. Because five was is halfway between 10 and 20. Since it's quadratic, I can say it's going to be symmetric. And there's my line of symmetry. If I plug in five, it's going to give me 750 books. And my price is going to be 15. And I can go ahead and find my total revenue that way. Okay. Anything else? I thought you guys would be. Hopefully a little more prepared for questions than this. Otherwise, I'm going to consider you guys ready to go. Um, yeah. But I'm here right now for the next um, 35 minutes asking, answering questions as well.
correct in this chapter, yep. Yep. Uh, I think that was, that was I think it was prior chapter. Yep. Yeah, if I just look over the sections here that I recommended you guys uh, pick some problems from over the weekend, then um, don't see it. Have you attempted 77 yourself yet? Okay. So what'd you do? Put 10 in. Okay. Yeah. Now you could put 10 in for X or you could put 10 on the shelf. Um, this one says synthetic division. Um, so if I do say use such and such, I would probably like you to do follow through with that method. Um, I'm trying to get the glare off of this. I'm just going to do this one. Um, but honestly, I, I think this problem is one that does not work the greatest with synthetic. So I'm just going to go ahead and go like this. Tan store for X. And then store STO. Go to the stove. Now, that sounds racist, but um, I, I learned that from a guy who, uh, from an African American who was teaching how to use this calculator at a uh, NCTM conference. He goes, okay, now folks, we got to go to the stove. And I was like, all right, I like that. I did, didn't I? So yeah, then it's just, let's just type stuff in. Point one three. There you go. Oh, so you're just looking at your remainder. Yes. Yeah. Synthetic division. Your remainder is the same thing as you would get if you plug it in. That's you know, and those are the things I, I expect you guys to be able to regurgitate and to be able to you know, because because that's what the um, what the remainder theorem says is that the remainder is the same thing as when we would plug it in. Yeah. Yeah. Ten and store STO for store on the bottom left corner. So now every time it sees X, it's going to think ten. Uh, you could just leave it there, or if you want to do it something different, uh, two store for X, then it just covers up the old value. Um, you could, but I don't really see a need to. Um, you know, because actually they're. Um, Factory presets are all zero, so you could set it back to zero. Um, but, you know, like this one, uh, what's M? M is negative 1.625, uh, and it's been there forever, and I really don't care. W, zero. So W hasn't been used yet, which is lurking in the background if we ever called it up. No, no, because cause this right here, um, this is in the calculation screen and the graph, that's a whole different process where it's going to change those values of X according to what your window size is. Um, so, so yeah, having those lurking in the background, that's not a big deal. Not at all. Not at all. Because this is just in my calculation screen. Because, because the how to graph a function is actually an algorithm, where it takes what it takes is um, it takes your your x range, and it divides it by a certain number, how many pixels there are, and then it starts by plugging in the first value, the second value, the third value, and then just plots those points. Okay, so it's changing the values of x to graph it. Um, so. Um, what you stored for X in the calculation screen is outside of that algorithm. Yeah. 
Anything else? Well, I thought you guys would be more ready to ask questions today. <laughs>